So I was sitting at the library the other day, and this guy comes up to me and asks if he can borrow the chair next to me. And I was like, yeah, sure, dude, go ahead. And he, and he kind of stares at me for a little bit. And I'm just staring back, like... And he's just like, hey, aren't you Trong? I'm Alex, by the way. I watch your videos. I really like them. I'm like, oh, hey, what's up, dude? What's up? And it was like, yeah, I watched the one on civil engineering. And I'm like, I never made a video on civil engineering. Did I? Nah, I didn't. And he's like, yeah, yeah, the one where you showed your schedule and your classes and everything. I'm like, oh, the college day in the life one. And he's like, yeah, dude. I was actually thinking about going to civil engineering. But, you know, after watching that video, I'm not so sure anymore. And I'm just like, oh. Uh. And I pretty much just told him, you know, that he shouldn't take me too seriously because I like to exaggerate my videos for comedic effect. And that, in all honesty, it wasn't that bad. And, you know, after that whole experience, it just got me thinking, like, man, I should really be more careful with my words because I didn't know that was happening. I didn't know that was happening. Like, I don't want to scare people away from civil engineering because that's my major. As much as it hurts to take it sometimes and to be in it, I still got to love it, right? It's part of me now. I wanted to make a video just sharing my actual thoughts on civil engineering without all the exaggerated mumbo jumbo. And I want to give my real advice on civil engineering, on classes, on UW. So Alex, if you're watching this, this video is for you, man. I don't even know if your name actually was Alex. Uh, I kind of forgot. But anyway, <laughs> let's get started, shall we? Okay, so engineering does suck. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's a lot of fun. I mean, maybe, but not really. The truth is, whether you're in it, whether you're trying to get in it, or whether you're just dreaming about it, it's going to be insanely tough and insanely difficult, okay? I mean, just look just look at it as a whole. It's not that difficult if you compare it to, like, other engineering majors. If you compare it to, like, photography, then yeah, it's hard. To, like, other majors, and in general, it's hard. But if you compare it to actual other engineering majors, civil is the second easiest one, right behind industrial. So compare it to mechanical, chemical, aerospace it's not too bad okay you're gonna make it through you're gonna become a lot better as a person because of it as well as cheesy as that sounds I mean we need more civil engineering people anyway I mean have you thought about civil engineering is what runs our life it's where you get the water from it's where you like you know flush your toilet that's civil engineering and your house is you're living in a civil engineering made project right now chances are you're not watching this video outside and if you are you're standing on the sidewalk which was made by civil engineers all right so civil engineering is good <laughs> it's good and we need more people in civil because it's actually kind of disappointing how there's not that many people in civil it's not that competitive computer science is taking all our students all right so join civil be a man <laughs> just seriously though join civil join civil so i've never actually had to pull an all-nighter before but i've came very close one time i stayed up till about 12 a.m and then i fell asleep by accident until 2 a.m and then i woke up and I was just like, what, what, oh my god, and then I just like, I didn't feel like sleeping again, I was just like, oh, whatever, and I stayed up all the way till 8.30 until my final, and I felt, I felt like it was an all-nighter because I was just exhausted, so it technically is, but not really, because I fell asleep for two hours, but if I didn't fall asleep, which I didn't mean to, I would have stayed up the whole night, probably, so I consider it an all-nighter, all right, get off me, the reason why I did this, the whole story was because my first midterm, it was fluid mechanics, if you don't know that class, that was one of the courses in my day in the life video, I actually did okay on my first midterm, but the second midterm came around, and I thought I did okay on the homework and stuff, I thought I understood stuff, but there were key concepts in the class from lecture that I just didn't, I failed to grasp, grasp. So the second midterm came around, and I just had no idea what I was doing, I kind of wrote some stuff down, <laughs> and then I was like, oh man, this sucks, I felt so out of place. A week later, my results came back, and oh yeah, I, I failed. And I didn't just fail badly, I went online to check whether I was one standard deviation below or two, and I was actually on the left spectrum, aka I got the lowest score. And you know how bad it feels when you look at your score and you look at the low on the web page, and it's like the same number. It, it sucks. It's not fun, okay? It's not fun. I I almost cried. Okay, I I cried <laughs> a lot actually. It, it was very disappointing, and I was honestly heartbroken over that. I told my parents and everything and like, oh my god, I'm grateful to have them because they supported me a lot and they told me how it's okay and you know, all the other parents talk and stuff and they made me feel better honestly. I knew that it was my fault, I mean no one else took that test for me and 
you know, I went in there and I failed it, alright? So I needed to, I needed a way to bounce back from this. So I learned some ways. I tried to become a better student, a more efficient learner. I asked for help whenever I needed it. Instead of letting my ego tell me that, oh, you know, you don't need people. You're smarter than that. You're stronger than that. But to be honest, that's pretty unhealthy and that's stupid. I mean, why would I do that, okay? <laughs> if, I, if there are other people who can help me, why would I not get help? Humans are social animals and we thrive off connection. The way I got around this was that I made new friends, I built more connections, and I met new people and just asked for help whenever I needed it. I asked for homework help, I asked for study partners, and honestly it was all such a tremendous help. Sometimes they'd help me without me even asking, like they sent me like books and like exam problems and stuff. And honestly it made my life so much easier and I honestly could care less about my own ego at that point. And yeah, sometimes, sometimes they might think you're stupid because like you're asking for help, but like if they think you're stupid and, and they still help you, it's like, ah, bro, I still won, <laughs> like I got help. Who, like whatever. I've, I've, I've saved so much time asking for help. Whatever they think of me, which I doubt it because five minutes later, they'll probably be drowning their own anxieties over the next homework and they'll forget all about me, right? But let's say they, they do think about me after that. Well, honestly, for all the trauma that I've saved myself from homework, I'd say it's priceless and it's worth it, okay? So, we work better as teams, so ask for help and go out there and kill it. Oh my god, I suck at speaking. I, I, what was that last sentence? I don't even know what I was... But you get my point, okay? Go out there and meet new people, make connections, work as a team, and become better because of it. Okay, that was kind of better. So, in conclusion, if you want to go for engineering, specifically civil engineering, and you want my advice, I'd say go for it because... Yeah, it's really going to be hard and it's going to be a risk, but I I want you to take that risk because there are people out there who will help and support you if you need it. You just need to go out there and meet those people. And when you do, you'd be surprised at just how much better your life becomes with all these connections and then at the person you will eventually become. My name's Trong and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, that was the worst exit ever. No, 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 editor, like do the disappearing thing where I like disappear, right? What do I snap? Go for civil engineering! Civil engineering! Bruh! Bruh! Okay? <laughs> but seriously though, just go for it. You're gonna do great. I promise you, alright?